Hi, everybody. Welcome in. And first up at 10 tonight, in trouble with the law yet again. A former Fairfax County public school counselor who was first arrested of sex crimes against a minor in 2020 was arrested again in June of this year. And now he's accused of providing false information and failing to register as a sex offender. Tonight, parents pressing the school superintendent about the hiring. Fox News Jacqueline Matter live at Glasgow Middle School with reaction tonight. Jacqueline. Good evening, Jim Marina. More than two dozen parents were here at Glasgow Middle School hearing from the new superintendent, many of them questioning the district's hiring practices after Darren Thornton was able to keep his job years after his arrest. In a story that's grabbed attention across the nation. We've lost trust with many families as a result of this incident. Two weeks ago, Fairfax County Superintendent Dr. Michelle Reed fired the counselor after she learned he had been convicted of a sex crime involving a minor. Chesterfield County Police say the crime occurred in November of 2020, and a miscommunication may have led to his delayed firing in July of 2022. The police chief said the department tried to notify FCPS about the arrest, but the email bounced back as undeliverable. Now the superintendent says an investigation is underway into how the Commonwealth handles information of criminals between jurisdictions and across state lines. It is clear that as a school division, we've made some mistakes. And it is my responsibility now moving forward to make sure our house is in order. Parents, though, still uneasy about their children's safety. I was kind of upset or mad about the fact that he was able to stay in the system as long as he was. Many of those at the meeting say their kids had direct contact with Thornton. I started wondering if maybe my son had had problems because of what I recently found out. My son confirmed that's not the case. But all these scenarios go th through your mind as a parent. Some parents learned tonight of another incident nearly three years ago. A substitute teacher charged for indecent liberties involving two students at the school. What's particularly shocking for me is knowing that this is the second incident in one school in Fairfax County makes me very unable to sleep tonight about uh, really can we say that this is assuredly not happening in the rest of the county. With nearly 30,000 employees in the school district, parents say they'd like to see accountability to ensure this doesn't happen again. One of my big concerns now is, are there other folks who are working within the school system who have also slipped through those cracks as this person apparently did? Um, and what's going to be done to see and check? Now, the superintendent does say they are doing full background checks again on every employee. She also says they expect to have the full findings of their investigation sometime in early September. Meantime, she's asking any students, any parents who know of students who may have had uncomfortable interactions with Thornton to come forward. Back to you.